I mean, people, let's get an understanding. It's money literally floating around here, around the world every day and just laying on the ground and opportunities to make money, even if you have no money to start with. Uh, in a previous video, I think we did it, I don't know, I want to say six months ago, we talked about if we started at zero, what would we do to make money? And here's a clip from the video. So the first thing I would do, I would open up Facebook, I would go to your marketplace, and then I would look up everything that people say is free. Everything. And what I would do, I would, or I would send my wife to go grab everything that's free. Yeah, I'm burning gas, but let's let's say I'm picking up five, ten things a month. I mean, a week. And then if I can go get these things for zero and then just flip them on another uh, app, uh, East, uh, I said, I was about to say East Bay. That's telling my age again. eBay, uh, you know, you know, rehabbing them and then put them back on Marketplace, offer up, what have you. I get them for free and I only can sell them for $20. So five things, $20 a week, that's a hundred bucks. All right, with that said, so... That video went out and I got a lot of feedback personally. A lot of people said, man, there's no way possible. You just, it takes money to make money. Um, you have to, you got to know people. It's all about circles and it's all about relationships. That stuff is true, kind of. But if you want to start at zero and you have zero dollars and you have a vehicle, you have a bike, you have a bus pass, you have anything of that nature, it's possibly to make money in the United States because people will buy any and everything. And before I get into just some of the dynamics of what I've seen since that video came out, Alex, what's your thought about it's opportunities out here to make money everywhere? From, from being someone that has sold stuff and bought in items at a cheap price or gotten free stuff and sold stuff that is no longer being used. Yeah, it, there's ways to make money. Creating profit from out of thin air is very achievable, especially in the country that we live in. So I think that there are plenty of opportunities. There's plenty of opportunities to get you just a few bucks to get started onto something bigger. Yeah, so FYI, for people that don't know, uh, my wife retired at the age of, 39. If I got the age wrong, she's probably going to kill me, but I'm almost sure she was 38, 39 when she retired. And she came across the video that we said, if you start at zero, it's ways to make money. And then she, she wanted us to put it to the test, not to see if we full of it, just to see if there's really people lazy out here where there's opportunity. Um, So what my wife did is one of the things that we talked about in the video. Uh, we talked about, you know, Facebook marketplace arbitrage or just arbitrage in general. Arbitrage in general just meaning getting an item from one website for little to no money and then selling on the web, another website or selling on the same website. Um, and in that time, so she went and got one item. Uh, she went and got one item for free and then she turned around and sold it for $50. And then, you know, she just chalked that up to luck. And then, so she went and got another item, I believe for free or $10. And then she sold it again for 75 bucks. The key was she stayed on the same website. It wasn't, she got it from one website and then put it on eBay. It's not that she found it on eBay and then put it on Craigslist. She got it on one website and then sold it on the same exact website. So everybody seen the free item. And then it was actually somebody that came and paid for it, even though it was just free, you know, the same day or a couple of days later uh, with that. And then so then she sit there and looked at me. She said, there's no way people are sitting around complaining about money when it's money literally everywhere. And then for her, I'm not going to say she was mind blown, but she was like, this is insane. So she just kept it running, kept it running, seeing what she do. I'm not going to say what's her arena, but I'll give everybody a hint. Uh, things to do with the house. People love buying things to do with the house because in America, you know, they tell you the American dream. And then when people buy houses, they think they need to decorate it and they need to have these gadgets, that gadget or what have you. 
But literally paying less than $50 for all the goods that she's had, I mean, that she's picked up or received, she's selling it for between $50 to a couple hundred dollars a pop each item that she gets. So there's literally money everywhere. Even if you have none, there's money everywhere. And then, you know, we tell uh, friends about it because, you know, family and friends know she's retired and they always ask because she retired at a young age. They always ask, so what are you doing now? What are you doing now? And then we tell them and then they're just mind blown. Like, first is like, why would you want to do something to work? And then my mom, my wife, she's a busy bee. She always has to be doing something. But then when they see the money that's being made from it, they're just blown that it's literally money everywhere. Not literally money everywhere. Money can be made in this fashion doing this type of deal. And that's something that's just insane that and that's another reason i'm not gonna say it's insane that's another reason why i don't like to give excuses to people because it's opportunity everywhere in america there's opportunities everywhere you just have to go ahead and take advantage of one so for everybody out there who probably saw the previous video or seen the clip from the video that we just shared earlier there's no excuse and i just gave you the tips and hints so you can go out there and do the same thing in your community in your local area alex what you got on the subject yeah, I, I know, and I know what you're, I won't mention it, keep her secret, her business going, but I know there's definitely that avenue, and then there's, you know, there's other avenues I've done if, I mean, you can go to a Goodwill in your area, and they sell things for cheap, you could buy them and reflip them, and it's just a matter of just taking some time to do some research, research the items that you're interested in acquiring and selling and seeing what they're selling for. And many people, and that's why I say, especially in this country, because I've talked to, say, my wife's family to ask them if this happens overseas in their countries. And they say, no, no one throws away anything. They reuse everything. There's so many people that throw away stuff that's perfectly good or that's in decent condition that can be reused and sold. And as you said, there's money everywhere. It's sitting everywhere. It's just a matter of putting in the time to research what the price is and then acquiring it and going ahead and selling it. And when I say I don't want to tell you her secret, like it's something that like it's top secret information is not the reason why I don't want to say it because I don't want people just to be focused on that. And I want to give you a litany of things. When I say deal with the household, I mean, it could be simple as water hoses. It could be simple as um, masonry or designer bricks or stuff that goes around the house. I don't want your, your, ideas to be limited to just what my wife do. I wanted you to expand your horizon because there's many things. Yeah, my wife just sticks to a niche because she just don't want to deal with all the other aspects of her house. But I mean, it's literally, I mean, like the old hip, the people that just got a whole bunch of land, the propane tanks that you use for barbecuing, you can sell it. If it's laying around a house is not a use to you or you is not a use to somebody somebody else, it's a use for somebody. They use the old adage, somebody trashes somebody else's treasure. It's true. I mean, people are becoming conscious of how much money they're spending. I mean, why go to, let's say, Lowe's and pay $30 for a water hose when you can go to a marketplace and get it for $20? But... The person you paying twenty dollars for it was just probably a water hose that was laying around the house, or a neighbor just was about to throw it out, and you picked it up, just walked off the water hose, made it look nice, and then you just sold it for twenty dollars. That's zero to twenty dollars with doing no real work. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot of things that's laying around people's houses that they haven't used in twenty years. Somebody else is willing to pay it. I mean, it's damaged goods that you can, if you have any, you know. Uh, carpentry or woodworking experience, old furniture people throwing out that you can fix up. Any little skill, nuance that you don't know how to do with your hand because the the trade skills 
are going away at the dodo bird. So especially these millennials today, these millennials today, only thing they want is office work, office work, office work. They don't want to do nothing with their hands. They don't want to do no manual labor whatsoever. So that's why the, the soft skills that you that people learn to be office workers, they will get passed up by the hard the hard labor skills or the hard uh the hard skills that people have because the supply of those people are going to be minimal and the price of what they do work is going to go up. So the whole adage of, oh, if you want to make money, you got to go to school, you got to get an education, you got to sit in the office, you got to get the corner office. And if you don't go to college, you're going to you you're going to have a minimum wage job. But I don't think you need is a trade, a hard skill. And then if you have that new watch from, you know, your parents working with your parents in the garage and you can do stuff like fix lawnmowers. That's another one out there. That's a life hack for people out there. Get stuff that's uh small motor stuff that's broke down. You can fix it up. So instead of going to Lowe's and paying four or five hundred dollars for a lawnmower, you can get a lawnmower from somebody that just don't know what they're doing with it and think it's broke. Fix it with like $20 in parts or fix it for free and then go sell it for $100, $200 on Facebook Marketplace. And you just made a huge profit because people are being more money conscious now with inflation, the cost of housing. Right now, it costs more to buy a house than rent. So people are more money conscious now and they're looking to see where their money is going. They're trying to make it spread out as far as it can go. So those are some life hacks for you and how you can start from zero to make a decent amount of money over time. Alex, you got any questions before we wrap it up? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's one more thing, too, I think is, especially in this um, season, firewood, people start cutting down trees and just leaving it on the side of the road. But people buy firewood at Publix. They buy firewood at Ace Hardware. You just pick up some tree limbs and sell them. I mean, it's simple as that. And you can sell them for 10, 15 bucks a stack. So, but with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.